What's going on, fish lunatics? It's Jay Wilson, and you are looking at Adam C.'s Placidochromis species Phenichalis Tanzania star sapphire. That's a mouthful. And I'm going to read a lot of this stuff from cichlidae.com. So if you're not a member of the Cichlid Room Companion, do it. I don't get anything for it. Um, you can become a member of the ACA, whatever you want to do, but really cool fish. So let's get to it. How did it get to where it was at? Well, funny enough, there's a quote uh, that perhaps it's morbid in origin. Uh, people thought this fish had a disease because of its speckles, but now within the hobby, it's a very revered fish. Uh, its provisional name refers to its likely relationship between the Placidochromis phenochalis and the geographical origin of where the fish comes from. So the Phenochalis Tanzania is a member of the Placidochromis Electra species group of blue followers, according to Tawil in 2004. Similar to the species Electra when young, but with less pronounced blue hue, with age, females remain similar to Electra from Lacoma Island, but grayish, while males become that sustained deep blue. Later, about two years of age, super slow growing with the chips, uh, gets a peculiar glittering dress appearing on males, sometimes also faintly visible on some females. Now, only in the wild have they ever seen it go to about 15 centimeters, but in captivity, about 20 centimeters, which is really cool. Um, males do the speckling thing, which is really, really nice. And it can be found um, in Tanzania at Makande and Lupingu and is probably widely distributed around uh, Livingstone uh, Mountains. Uh, interestingly, uh, Ad Konings also mentions Kasinda on the opposite side of the lake, which is kind of crazy. But it is native to Malawi. Really cool fish. And it's a ditrivorous, which means it eats decaying matter. It's kind of one of those fish that goes after whatever is available. And um, really cool. So thanks, Adam C., for sending that video. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, tweeting, retweeting, and doing all the things that you do to keep this channel relevant. This fish has a very special place in my heart. It is beautiful. It does great great in a mixed hap peacock African cichlid tank, but it does even more phenomenal when it's in its own style of grouping. Doesn't mean it's a breeding group if you haven't got the fish to breed, uh, but in a group with its own species, it simply gets nuts. And I can only imagine what this fish would look like from Adam if it was in a tank full of Placidochromis phenochalis Tanzania star sapphire. <laughs> <laughs> long name shout out thank you so much adam c for this thank you so much for uh odd conings and what he does it's really neat and folks be connected to human beings stop liking and actually call somebody develop meaningful relationships and understand that person because you never know what kind of trouble they're in emotionally if you don't connect with them on an emotional level do it be a friend, be a best friend, and get disconnected to get reconnected. You know what's next. Holla!